Hello and welcome back to Mars. I'm Mick. We're playing Stationers. Uh, with my builds so far, they've gone pretty well, and they've kind of looked like I knew what I was doing. Because, well, to be honest, they're things that I had always built before, and I I used them a few times, and I knew they worked. But I've kind of run out of things that I have already built. So today I'm going to be doing sort of a bumbling build to tackle something I haven't done before, which is my nemesis, you. So today I am going to be making shit up as I go along and let's see if I can get this thing to actually work properly this time. Now this thing has given me troubles before. I have attempted to use it once on Europa and that was covered by huge numbers of radiators and, um, and it had a huge source of coldness outside and I still couldn't get it to run continuously. So a different approach is required. I've heard it can be done on Mars. So there's my task for today. Let's get this thing working. Um, but as I say, I'm just making this up as I go along. So failure is always an option, but I'll upload it either way and everybody can just rip on me for getting it wrong and doing something really obvious bad. Uh, but anyway, let's rip up some floor, get some fuel down and look like I know what I'm, do what I'm doing. Then we have our basic fuel system set up. Hydrogen, oxygen through a mixer, a pressure regulator, pipe into the back of the the uh, uh, machine. Uh, then the exhaust just straight out to atmosphere. Now I've got it set to uh, one kilopascal, which is pretty slow. This thing can put out a heap of power and it also puts out a heap of heat. So it should operate, which it does, but it shuts off. Because if you can see by the little tool tip there, it has to be enclosed in an atmosphere of at least 20 kilopascals and between 278 and 328 K. Which means if we're going to run it on here, we're going to have to enclose it in a, in a room, pressurized room, but it produces a buttload of heat. As I say before, I've tried to put put uh, radiators in there to try and cool it down. Uh, today, I figure I'm just trying to going to try and blow some air in there and see if I can get it to work that way. Right, we've got it enclosed. We've got a gas sensor up on the roof with the to pressure and temperature there. If it is this simple to get it done, I'm going to be really annoyed. Switch that on. Just got a passive vent on the other side to let the pressure out when it gets too much. Once it gets to 20 kilopascals, I should be to switch it on. And oh yeah, that temperature is way too hot. It does cool down really quickly though. Um, so that's not sucking enough air in there. I could put up a tank get it to a higher pressure and then blow it in out of a tank. So I could put a heap of them sucking into a tank. If I wait till night time, the tank will be very cold. Um, let's see how we go. One left. Perfect. Now, You are charging up with cold air. Wait a bit. Now it's coming from a tank, so we've got a pump there to pump it in instead. And we'll see how we go. Alright, tank's inflating up. I'll turn you down. We'll start at a low volume and see how we go. Then. Thirteen, fourteen. There we go. Adequate pressure. Why did you not switch on? Oh, there we go. We got temperature. No, temperature's still too high. Okay. More power. Switch on. Oh, 
Oh wow, we're going to stabilise. Nope. More power. More power. Which on? Holy crap. It's working. Well, that was just too easy. Uh, can we collect gas quick enough? Uh, yes, we can. Small tank is stable as well. Can we up the pre up the power? Uh. Oh. Oh. Um. Okay. Right, I, I, I notice a minor problem with that now. Okie dokie. Um, shut down. Right. Um, passive vents might not be good enough. I might have to put some active vents in there. Okay. Try again. We have an active vent inside. We still have the volume pump pumping from the tank. I have set up some automation that will switch on that vent whenever the internal pressure gets to 100 kilopascals. Uh, I've also set up some logic readers and writers to put the power output from the generator onto here. So, try again. Oops. <laughs> Switch that on. Uh, might be helpful. All right, switch you on. Go again. The vent is switching on. It's too cold in there. Come on, give me another go. Still too cold in there. That's only set to 10. Um, okay, how about if I up the power? That should generate more heat now. And go. Whoa, hang on. Why is that pressure going up? No, 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 no. What the hell? Is that not enough? It's an active vent. Do I need more than one? Ooh, almost broke the window. <laughs> okay, we shall turn this right down, down to five. And okay, back on again. Okay, now it's spoke too soon. Yes, it's keeping up. That is switching on and off. Can I switch you back on again now? It's too cold in there at the moment, so might take a little couple of shots there to build up the heat. Still too cold. Look, there we go. We are set on five litres there. That's with ten megapascals. And, oh, what happened? Why'd we switch off? Did it get too hot? Um, okay. Can I handle? Whoops. Six litres. A little bit worried about the exhaust vent now. 
and the temperature looks to be stabilizing at a much lower pressure now still going up is it going to stabilize holy crap that's putting out 23 kilowatts okay this one machine 23 kilowatts um, this entire setup here is 21 kilowatts. Why haven't I been using this thing for ages? Damn. Well, the <laughs> that exhaust vent is on constantly. But the pressure is stabilized. Temperature is still going up. Uh, Uh, doesn't tell us what it was there. 50 degrees, was that the maximum? Was it 320, yeah, 328, that's 50 degrees, it's too hot. You're going to stop working now. Um, okay. 7. Um, I might have to put a second vent on there, but that has got the temperature under control. Right, now I have two internal vents. One is set to come on at 50 kilopascals, the other is set to come on at 100 kilopascals. So, pressure on, still at 7 litres. I guess it's 50. Dope. Not working. What's for, oh, I haven't switched it on. Dumbass. There we go. Below 50, one's on. There we go. We're good. We are working as planned. Switch you on. Switch you on. It's too cold. Yep. Try again. Right. Temperature's still going up. Well, how come one vent is now enough? What the hell? Was it just a machine that was blocking it? I didn't know the machine would do that. Maybe I should raise that vent as well. Off. On. Too cold. Go again. There we go. Oh, it's getting way too hot. What the hell? Okay, maybe moving that vent did do something. Maybe I should put it back. Still too hot. There we go. Temperature's still going up, 48. It's up you one. Wow, that is working. How are we doing for you? Well, it's ticking down reasonably, but uh not going to take a lot of that to charge up your batteries. The bigger the tank, the more collectors. You should be able to get that filled back up during the night. It's ticking down. So I've got about 500 seconds of fuel there. That's not going to see me through the night, is it? Well, it's doable. we just got to get more vents on there. Wow. Look at that fully charged up. 22.9 kilowatts. Oh no, 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 we're going up again. Okay, so the rate that that blows through will be dependent on the pipe. That's a volume pump, so it will pump by volume. So the higher the pressure is in that tank, the higher 
the actual flow rate through there. So we may have to put a sensor on the tank to actually adjust that pressure based on the temperature. Okay, well, that's doable. Now, depending on the temperature, it will now vary the volume on the pump here. So it's down to 29 degrees, the pump is switched off. We switch it on. It, whoops, too high. The pump has switched on, but it is too slow. Okay, that needs to respond more severely than that. So let's take it down to 20 degrees, 293, and a more severe response. Export. Good, there we go. Try again. No, too slow still. No, there we go, we're back. Too high. Oh, it's regulating itself. Nice. How are we doing? Seven megapascals. I've also got that thing to switch on got an external sensor now so all those vents will automatically switch on when the temperature gets cold outside. Temperature's still a little high. Can we up the power to 3? 34.3 .3 kilowatts. Holy crap and it's still working. I know temperature's going up. <laughs> that is now producing more power than my entire base by itself and it's working wow um, okay that was unexpected uh, well let's call that one a success <laughs> take a bit of tuning to actually get that thing to work. I'll feng shui some of the uh, controls around a little bit to make them a bit easier to see. <laughs> Loving it. Okay, well, that's the gas fuel generator. It can be made to work. Well, not bad for a first experimental build. Uh, I think I'll call it there. We've had a win. Uh, that's me. If you see any improvements in it, just drop a message, let us know. But till next time, Happy building. See ya. Okay, a little bit more tinkering around. Got some displays up. This is our inside temperature graph. Here's our pump speed. Switch it on. Look at this, 82 kilowatts. The temperature initially goes up. The pump setting goes up. It takes a little while to equalize the pressure, but it equalize the temperature I mean but it gets there a little bit up a little bit down it'll eventually even itself out of course you probably won't be able to do this too well on a planet that has hot weather but Europa this is your power source wow